What's up guys, this is Mason Sapesky. Welcome to week 14 of our Madden simulation. Today we are hosting the Cleveland Browns. It's Sunday, December 8th, according to the simulation, the day after my birthday. So it's very interesting and definitely a big game for sure. We are 4-8. and eight. Unfortunately, with the loss today, Coach Mike Tomlin would suffer his first losing season at the helm of the Steelers. So... This is a big deal. We need to win out to ensure that doesn't happen. And this is definitely a crucial game, and it comes against a very good opponent. It's the best team in the NFL right now, the one-loss Cleveland Browns. We played them just two short weeks ago, and we got pounded. This final score was closer than the game actually was. 31-20 was your final. The first, It was 31-7 at some point, so yeah, it definitely was not a pretty day for us at all that game hopefully today at home for my birthday weekend is much better so let's get right into it Sally just one quick side note as you probably all know by now if you've watched these are 2023 rosters because it's Madden 24 Madden 25 hasn't come out yet so I will be announcing them as 2024 players despite it appearing as 2023 guys on the screen so just want to keep you in the know on that so that's all I have, and here we go. All right, so here we go, getting ready to get underway here. Once again in the Steel City, Cleveland Browns are in town. Got the typical 1 p.m. kick. And we'll make it a cloudy day. How about that? Overcast. It's going to be overcast here today over Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, definitely could help the Steelers. It might hurt them, but it's December the 8th. It's probably going to be 45 degrees. Hopefully, it's not like in the 20s for this game. That's a lot. When it actually is played on December 8th. Hopefully, it's not in the 20s. That's the one thing I do wish. That's the one thing I hate about Steeler games is how cold they could possibly get. I mean, right now, it is July, so we're experiencing a heat wave, and, like, I, like, think of this heat wave compared to the cold that it is sometimes, and I'm like, yeah, I'd much rather have the heat wave than the cold. How about you guys? If you would like to, just comment below which one you guys would rather have as I make these subs. I try to substitute as many former Steelers out as possible for current guys. Cleveland won the toss day to first, so Pittsburgh gets the ball first, and we are underway here on this overcast day in Pittsburgh, PA, as Cordero Patterson takes it out for the Steelers. And they will get the ball on the 22-yard line, first and 10 upcoming. Fields back with Najee. Fields. Looking, hands it off, Fields, and he's not going to, and Najee is not going to get anything. In fact, he's going to lose a yard. Second and 11 upcoming for the Steelers. Here we go. Fields yet again to Najee. Najee's going to get it. Najee's going to go. Najee's got Powers way up, and he's going to get the first down on an 11 plus yard run. Najee Harris gets the Pittsburgh Steelers a much needed first down. Here we go. Fields away again to Najee. Najee's gonna go, Najee's gonna take advantage of the quick pitch and he's gonna make it second and six. We in it. Fields to Najee. 
And Najee's gonna go again. He's not gonna get it. It's gonna be third and three upcoming. And the Steelers will have to throw the ball. Something that Fields couldn't do against Cleveland. In fact, he was pulled because of it. Fields back. Fields looking. Fields escaping. Fields fires. That bounces all the dropped. Incomplete. Nearly caught by Austin for the first, but Cleveland's defense will make a crucial, and I mean crucial, stop on the play. Punt is going to be fair caught by the Browns. And now here comes out Deshaun Watson, the amazing Cleveland Browns quarterback and a candidate for most valuable player has led this Cleveland team to incredible things and has made them definitely a Super Bowl favorite, to say the least, this year. Watson with Chubb in the backfield. Hand off to Chubb. Chubb, and he's going to get about seven. Watson back. Watson, he's not going to be able to escape. He's going to be brought down by TJ Watt. That is TJ on the play. And now it's third down and nine for the Cleveland Browns. Here we go. Watson back on third and nine. Watson looking. Watson fires five times. He finds an open man. That looks to be Elijah Moore for the Cleveland first down on the play. And the Pittsburgh defense, unfortunately, cannot get a stop there. Watson gets the first through the Browns. Here we go. Watson back again. Watson looking. Pressure collapsing. And that ball's intercepted. This all Watson will be intercepted by Joey Porter Jr. That's going to be about that. He's going to get to about a little over midfield to the Cleveland 45. What a huge turnover by Porter. And for the second time this season, the Browns turn it over against Pittsburgh on the opening drive. Well, that was huge for Pittsburgh now as Justin Fields looks to lead them out here. And he will do so second and eight upcoming. Fields just can't turn the ball over now. That's one thing he cannot do is turn the ball over. If he does that, we're in trouble. Fields to Nazi. Nazi's gonna get it. Nazi's gonna go. And he's gonna make it a first. He's gonna get it. First to 10 for the Steelers. And the Steelers continue this drive. Here we go. Fields. Fields. Handoff goes to Nazi. Nazi's gonna go. He will be the freight train he is and make it second and four. We'll tell you what, this team's played incredible this year, and they really have, and that's been great in certain situations. The record may not show, but the way they play against certain teams in certain situations like this says they could be good. As Najee gets a first down, Steelers at, their, at the Browns 23. Fields to Najee. Najee's going to go. Najee's going to go. He's going to gain one yard. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are poised to take the lead here at some point on this drive if they don't turn it over. But they're gonna, one thing is certain, and Dodge is gonna go, Dodge is gonna get the first! He's gonna get the first and put the Steelers inside the high turn zone, down to the 11 yard line of Cleveland! What a drive for Pittsburgh! Well, Fields and Dodge are doing very good at leading this offense. The rush is something that needed to be established for Pittsburgh to succeed. They have done a phenomenal, and I mean phenomenal job at that today. As Pittsburgh's just going to let the clock run to the end of the quarter. And we will go in to the second quarter with the score. The Pittsburgh's, the Cleveland Browns, zero. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, zero. The Browns are playing down against the Steelers today. First and ten. Hand up here again to Nazi. Nazi's gonna go. And there's a flag on the play, likely against Pittsburgh. Who's the flag? It looks like us. First and seventeen. But the eighteen still in the red zone. 
fields. Third is field. Nazi errors. Nazi's got to go. Nazi's got to go. He's got power slay out. I think it's second down and three. As unfortunately, Sam Wall is down for Pittsburgh. That's not good if you're the Steelers if Tom Wall is injured. I mean, you cannot have injuries like this if you hope to stay a competitive ball club. Definitely could be a problem for the Steelers. That is for sure. Here we go. Second and three. Hands up, Nazi Harris. He's gonna bust through and he's gonna make it first and goal at the one yard line. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are on the cusp of the touchdown and take a lead. Here we go yet again. All right, let's kill some clock here too, shall we? First and goal for the Steelers. And uh, got the Nazi, he's going to get in for the touchdown. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are struck first and all against the league leading Browns. What a score for Nazi Harris. Big impact and a big moment for sure for these Pittsburgh Steelers. And they're going to lead this game 7-0. Well, wow, that's the start you need if you're Pittsburgh. You need to quell the Browns. They, when they get off, they get off. And Boswell gets it through, and they get off. So Pittsburgh getting the first score is crucial, and it's off a turnover to you make a pay. That's how the job is done. Pittsburgh leads seven to zip. And here we go. It's the kicker's team. Cleveland's gonna take it out, and they're gonna be brought down at about the twenty-one. So now here comes this all watching yet again with the Browns. 602 remaining in the half. Pittsburgh leads this ball game. Seven tip. Here we go. Watch it back with Chubb. Chubb, he's gonna keep it and he's gonna stay up and he's gonna go get to Army in the first out to make it second and two for the Browns. Well, Chubb's ability to stay up there is good. That shows you the resilience of this Cleveland Browns team, and that's what Pittsburgh's going to have a tough time challenging. Watson fakes. Watson, is he's going he's gonna to knock it again. They're going to bring him down to the yard side. Watson goes nowhere to spur him to. Steelers looking for what would be a huge stop here. Here we go. Hand off Cleveland. We'll get the first, but not by much. Pittsburgh almost with the stop of the day. They fail to get it. Cleveland keeps. Here we go. Watson back. Watson looking. Watson almost escapes the jam and he will gain five yards. Pittsburgh's done amazing today with bringing the pressure on Watson. He's just doing a great job, an even better job at escaping the pressure, and that's the figure. He's got to escape it. And Chubb stays alive, but not by not for much longer. And the Steelers get the and the Steelers stop him, but the Browns get first down. First and ten, Cleveland. Here we go. Watson back. Watson looks, fires, passes, caught. That's Elijah Moore. Okay, to five. Second and five, and here we go. Pittsburgh needs two stops. Nearing the three-minute mark in the half. Here we go. Watson looking. Watson gonna escape. Watson's gonna keep Watson, and he will make it first and ten. Cleveland up to the Pittsburgh 46. And the Browns have already crossed midfield, and here we go. Watson. Back, looking, firing, the pass is intercepted, and the Steelers pick off Watson yet again, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are in good position right here, right now. That is Watson's second pick of the day, and the Steelers could be cooking. This place is rocking right now. Fields to Nazi. Nazi's going to go, and he's going to get turned, going to get second and six. And I won't have the time to run one more play. 
here we go. Looks, fires, that pass is going to be caught! What a miracle catch! That is coming up! That is Quez Watkins with the miracle play! First and ten for the Steelers! And this team is on the prow right now! Fields, fake stand up. Fields, lots of pressure, and it's caught again! Oh, it's caught again! And the Steelers, the Browns just can't stop it right now! No, they cannot! Oh my gosh! One minute to go now! Hands it off! Najee's gonna go! First down, and the Steelers will burn their first time out! What do you do if you're Pittsburgh? What do you do? I mean, you don't want to risk anything here! I mean, if we have to take the sack, we have to take the sack, but definitely don't want to risk. Definitely don't want to take risk. Oh, and that throw needs to cover. It's incomplete. Second and 10. Here we go. 51 seconds in the half. Fields back. Fields with all kind of pressure. Finds a man in fire move. Going to make it 30 and 5. Just a dump off. 31 seconds to go in this half. Fields to Najee. And they're just going to let it run at this point. And Cleveland calls timeout. Cleveland is the team. The calls timeout here is the Steelers will look to kick a field goal. So now here comes out Chris Boswell looking to get a field goal and put the Steelers up by double digits. Headed into the half here. Kick is up. That kick is long enough, high enough, and that kick is good. And just like that, the Pittsburgh Steelers have a 10 nothing lead in all likelihood going into halftime against the number one team in the league. This is huge. Well, Cleveland's playing down right now. Everybody knows it. Cleveland is not having a good day by their standards. And yeah, Watson needs to be better. 18 seconds left in the half. What does Watson do? Cover four deep. Cover four deep. 18 seconds, first and 10. Cleveland has a lot of room. Has a lot to go. They're going to hand it off to Trump, and he's going to get stuffed. And that's most likely how the half is going to end. And just like that, there it is. The Pittsburgh Steelers have taken a 10 to zip lead at the halftime to score. The Pittsburgh Steelers 10, the Cleveland Browns 0 at halftime here at Akersur Stadium. And just like that, we're ready to begin the third. Steelers lead 10 nothing. Browns get the ball to start the second half. Pittsburgh's defense is going to look for a stop here. Stop at a score could put Cleveland in a very uncomfortable position as this team has not lost yet on the road this year. They only have one loss, and that is at home to the Los Angeles Chargers. Watson back with Chubb. Here we go. Hand off to Chubb. He's going to be stopped. Second and nine upcoming. Here we go again. This crowd is rocking at Akersor. Steelers lead 10 to nothing. Here we go. Watson back. Watson looks. He's going to get darn near close, but not enough. It is third and two. Man defense coming up, and here we go. Pittsburgh with a stop here could take full control. Watson back. Watson looks, and he's going to just dump it off to get the first down. Great job by Cleveland. Great design by Cleveland. There, on the play. Here we go again. Watson. Watson hands off. And the Browns, that's going to be a big run for Cleveland. The flag's on the play. That could spell doom for Pittsburgh. Looks like it's against. Yes, it is! It's against the Brownies. Here we go. First and five. 
We'll take that. Watch it back. He's going to be in it. He is going to be sacked. The saw wants it sacked for the second time today by TJ Watt. Second and 12 upcoming. Well, it's impressive. An offense that scored 31 points on you guys just a few short weeks ago is being out to zero. Nearly halfway through the first. That's incredible. This defense has woken up. That's for sure. As it is now third and incoming. A soft would be huge. This crowd is on its feet. Here we go. Watson with the back in the backfield. Here we go. Watson looks, fires, and he will just get the first. No, he won't. He'll be forfeited. Since it. What do the Browns do here? I'm going for this if I'm Cleveland, but they're not going to go for it. They're going to punt the ball. And Pittsburgh is in a prime position here to possibly put the Browns in a hole, send them to their second loss, and keep Coach Tomlin's streak alive one more week. Oh, my gosh. All the sacrifices, all the hard work they do for this man. They love playing for him and to possibly keep his no-losing season streak alive. One more week headed into Philadelphia next week. That'd be huge. Fields with Najee in the back. Here we go. Hand off to Najee. Guns two, second and eight. We're going to start to try to kill clock now, too. I want to try to start to put the icing on this. Because a touchdown here, especially if it's in the fourth quarter, may very well end this game. Go, Najee. Go, Najee. Go, Najee. Go! And now it's third and four. And this is huge for the pace of the game. If you're the Pittsburgh Steelers and you get a first down here, first down here, it could be in the books. Could be in the books. Do you get that first down here? Be it. Here we go. Face it. And off. Pump fake. Najee, and they're going to get darn near close, but it's not going to happen. And the Steelers are going to go for this. What the heck? Why not? I mean, close enough. Let's just do it. Let's just try it. We might not get it. Worst comes to worst, we kill some clock. We're up by two scores. Here we go. We're going for it. Oh my gosh. Get it. And he got it. He got it. They go for it. And the Steelers get it. What a huge play. That's how you take advantage of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now with every opportunity. The guts of Mike Tomlin and Justin Fields. Oh my gosh. And now they can just kill Clark on possibly the best team in the league. And they're signing him out too. Oh my gosh. What a miracle for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Najee's going to go. And now the Steelers could take control of this one. And it into the fourth. What a huge win this would be for the season and for everything it would send them. Keep them alive yet another week. Last play of the quarter. Handoff goes to Najee, and he's going to get very close. It's third and one. And that will take us, in all likelihood, to the end of the third quarter where the Pittsburgh Steelers hold a 10 nothing lead. And we'll look to very well easily put the finishing touches on the Cleveland Browns. The best team in football. 4-4 four, four begins now. 3-1. Here we go. Hand off to Najee. He got the first. Another first down series for Pittsburgh. And the Browns are starting to feel the pain now. There's still plenty of time left for the Cleveland Browns. But things are looking up and up for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'll tell you that right now. That clock gets less and less for Cleveland by the second. Here we go. Goes to Najee. Najee Harris again. And it's going to be second and free. They keep doing what they do best. That is one thing and one thing only. Kill this 
clock. This clock continues to die, and that is huge for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Their defense, these moments. Here we go. Najee Harris, and he's going he's gonna to get the first. He's going to get the first down, and that is so huge again for the clock. So here we go now. Steelers get another first down with 5.41 to go. The clock is getting dimmer and dimmer for these Cleveland Browns. First and 10 Steelers with their own 44 by driving. 5.15 to go in the game. Steelers lead 10-0. 10 points might be all they need to win. Not a dominant offensive effort, but not a small one either. As Najee continues to go, and he'll get about four, second and six. Clock keeps ticking on Cleveland. They are running out of time, and they're running out of time fast. I mean, if Pittsburgh gets a couple more first downs, this thing might be over here sooner rather than later. Here we go. To Warren. Jalen Warren. And it's going to... And the, shoot. If that's on us, I'm going to flip. And it looks like it is. Hold it. Second and 11. That's it. 4.22 to go in this game. Steelers lead. 10 zip. Here we go. Najee Harris is going to go. He's going to get the... And he's going to get the first! He's going to get the first! 4-14 and the Steelers are game survives. The clock keeps ticking to under four minutes. And the Steelers fans can feel it in their best performance of the year by far. You're signing out the best offense in the league, a team you allowed 31 points to just two start weeks ago. It's pretty darn amazing if you ask me how far this team and this defense has come since then. You're setting out the best offense in the league and a possible MVP front runner. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, the Steelers can feel it a big win on the way. What a moment for Pittsburgh and the Steelers. They're going to beat the best team in the league most likely. Najee's going to go, and he's going to make it 30 and 7. And the clock continues to run on the Cleveland Browns. Here we go. Pittsburgh in full position here. Here we go. Hand up. To Najee, and he's gonna go, and he's gonna get close, and it's gonna be first and then! He's gonna get the first, and that will do it here for Pittsburgh! That should just about do it, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are gonna win this football game! Yes, they are! And now we've hit the two minute warning, and all the Steelers need to really do at this point is just run a couple more plays, take the knee, and end this ball game. First and 10 with two minutes left. Pittsburgh at the Cleveland 35. Hand off to Najee. And Najee's going to go, and he is going to get second and inches as Cleveland calls their first timeout. One more first down officially ends it, and the Steelers will shut out the Cleveland Browns. Rudolph to Najee. It's a formality. The Pittsburgh Steelers have not only defeated the best team in the league, but have shut them out. What a moment for Pittsburgh. The win puts them at five and eight. Their biggest of the year, for sure. And Mike Tomlin's no losing season streak lives on another week. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to this team. They played their hearts out today. And now at this point, it's just a formality. They're going to win this football game, and they're on the up and the up going into Philly next week. Big deal for sure. Fields to, to Najee. And now they're just going to let the clock run. One minute and 30 seconds here at Akersor. 33.
I'm gonna let him in for like six seconds. Snap him. Hopefully get the first. Hopefully just kneel from there. Cleveland's not winning the game. It doesn't matter. And Nazi's going to get the first out and that should officially do it here for Mac Short. The Steelers will take one last knee and conclude this big win over the Browns. Keeping the no losing season streak alive for Mike Tomlin and staying alive one more week in the AFC playoff race. Their first win in one month. And just like that, and that's your ball game. And this crowd will be cheering all week long. This is a moment the Steelers faithful needed this whole season. What a victory. What a moment for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they're just they're just fired up right now. They they set out the best team in football. That's all I have to say. They literally set out set out the best team in football. Possibly ruined their chances at getting the number one seed in the AFC. This is what you crave for as a Steeler fan. And there it is. The Pittsburgh Steelers have defeated the league leading Cleveland Browns and have also in the process shut them out. A dominant stand by the Steelers defense. Keeping the no losing season streak alive. Create wreaking havoc in the AFC playoff race and keeping hopes alive. Five and eight, the Steelers improved to five and eight. The Cleveland Browns drop to 11 wins and two losses. A dominant second quarter for Pittsburgh leads them to a 10 nothing style victory of these Cleveland Browns. Great game played all around for the Steelers. A huge turnover battle win. What an opportunity. What a moment. Steelers Nason, have a good night. That's all I got to say for this one. Big game next week in the city of Beverly Love. Can't wait to see you guys then. And so, yeah, big win. Enjoy this one. We'll see you next week. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. All right, so welcome to my favorite. Actually, it is my this is my favorite part of the video. So welcome to my favorite part of the video where we simulate and simulate the remainder of the week 14 NFL games using nflgamesim.com and then we'll review the standings and we'll look, look at the playoff picture so definitely will be interesting for sure you guys just watched the Pittsburgh Steelers pull off the biggest upset of the year not only defeating but setting out the Cleveland Browns winning 10 nothing Steelers improved to 5 and 8 with the victory keeping their slate playoff chances alive Browns fall to 11 and 2 so without further ado, here we go, and we're going to start simulating. So let's start with first night football in a huge game between the Lions and the Packers at Ford Field. Winner, I think, leads to the division. Lions win 24-23. Huge win for the Detroit Lions. I actually think this is the same exact result they won by in their wild card game. And they've swept the Packers too on the air, so that's humongous. Lions improved to 9-4. and four. Packers fall to 8-5. and five. Giants hosting the Saints. Giants win 15-10. Giants improve to 5-8 and eight as well. Saints fall to 4-9. and nine. Always feel so much better doing these after a win, that's for sure. We had so many games we should have won, but we didn't. It sucks. The first day night game in Cleveland was the only game I think that we definitely should have lost. Every other game I felt like we had a chance in for sure. Vikings and the Falcons. Vikings win 24-9. Vikings and Perth to 5-8. Falcons fall to 6-7. and seven. Buccaneers hosting the Raiders.
Raiders won 24-20. Raiders improved to six wins and seven losses. Buccaneers fall to 10-11 in what has been a nightmare of a season in South Florida, or in Tampa. Eagles hosting the Panthers. Panthers upset the Eagles 19-12. Big win for Carolina. Eagles fall to 6-7. Panthers fall. Panthers improved 6-7. Wow. Big win by the Panthers. Titans hosting Jacksonville. That's going to be a fun game next week, Pittsburgh and Philly. It is. That's for sure. Titans win 30-23. Big win by them. Titans improve to 9-4. Jaguars fall to 6-7. Dolphins hosting the Jets. Dolphins win 24-17. They're on fire. They are hot. Dolphins improved to seven and six. Jets fall to six and seven. Cardinals host the Seahawks. I'll tell you what, December football is the best. And if you disagree with me, then get a life. <laughs> Cardinals win 27-13. That's a big win because the Seahawks can't gain ground after the Eagles loss. Seahawks fall to 5-8. and eight. Arizona improves to 5-8. and eight. Wow. Rams host the Bills. Bills win 24-17. Bills improved to 10 and 3. Rams fall to 5 and 8. Oh my gosh. Niners host the Bears. This could be another big deal. Niners shut out the Bears 33 0. Niners improved to 10 and 3. Bears fall to six and seven. Oh boy. Got a log jam in the AFC. And NFC. Chiefs host the Chargers. Chiefs host the Chargers. Chargers in double overtime get the win in a shocker. The Browns are so lucky. The Chargers win in a shocker. They improve to four and nine. And Kansas City falls to nine and four. 42 38 in double overtime is your final. What a game. Good win by the Chargers. Cowboys host the Bengals. Monday night. Big Monday night game, that's for sure. Bengals win 31-26. Big win by them. Niners now control the one seed in the NFC. And that's all your games this week. Let's do a standings check now. Sal we? AFC East, Buffalo Bills lead the division at 10-3. and three. Dolphins are in second, seven and six. They're on a big comeback. Jets, third place, six and seven. Patriots are in the last of five and eight. AFC North, Cleveland, 11 and two, leads the division. Cincinnati's in second at nine and four. Baltimore's in third at eight and five. Pittsburgh, unfortunately, are in the last of five and eight. AFC South, Tennessee leads that division at nine and four. Houston, second place, eight and five. Third place, Indianapolis or Jacksonville, six and seven. Fourth place, Indianapolis, six and seven. 
Those two might be flipped. I forget who won earlier the year. You'd have to check. Would have to check. But whoever's the winner is third, and the loser is fourth. MC West now, Kansas City nine and four, first place. Vegas six and seven in second. Denver five and eight in third, and the Chargers four and nine in fourth. NFC East now we got Dallas nine and four first place. Philadelphia is in second at six and seven. Giants are in third at five and eight, and the last place are the Commanders at three and ten. NFC North Detroit nine and four. Green Bay, eight and five. Chicago, six and seven. Minnesota, five and eight. NFC South, we got Atlanta, six and seven. Carolina, six and seven. New Orleans, four and nine. Tampa Bay, two and eleven. NFC West, San Francisco, ten and three. Seattle, five and eight. Arizona, five and eight. LA Rams, five and eight. So those are your division standings. Let's look at the playoff picture now. Selway. Cleveland Browns are the number one seed still in the AFC at 11-2. Buffalo Bills are now the two seed in the AFC at 10-3. Kansas City Chiefs are 9-4. They're the three seed in the AFC. The fourth seed are the Tennessee Titans at 9-4. Your fifth seed, the Cincinnati Bengals at 9-4. Your sixth seed, the Houston Texans, in five. Your seventh seed, the Baltimore Ravens, in five. Just behind them are the Dolphins at seven and six, the Jets at six and seven, the Jaguars at six and seven, and the Titans and the Colts and Raiders also at six and seven. So we're a little we're a ways back, so that's not good. NFC now, the number one seed are the Niners at ten and three. Number two seed are the Lions at nine and four. Number three seed the Cowboys at nine and four. Number four seed the Falcons at six and seven. Number five seed the Packers at eight and five. Number six seed, oh my gosh, this is so wide open. The Eagles at or number six seed is Carolina at six and seven. Number seven seed, Chicago, or no, number six seed Chicago at six and seven. Number seven seed Carolina at six and seven. On the outside looking in, Philadelphia six and seven. Giants five and eight. Seattle, Arizona, and the Rams all five and eight. So it's just a big bad log jam in the NFC. Hopefully that gets squared away soon, but we'll find out. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you next week, week fifteen. Obviously you all know we're in Philly, so can't wait for that game. See you then. In the meantime, have a good one. Take care, stay safe, and as always, peace. See you guys in week fifteen.